before the events of Ashura, we know that Ashura has not occurred yet. Imam Hussain alayhi salatu wasalam, has not been martyred. But what happened at that time when the Imam was born? There are numerous narrations and authentic narrations in our Sunni brothers' books, in the Saha, and even in our books, that show when the Imam, the Holy Imam, was born and the Holy Prophet came to the house of Fatima, salamullah alayha, recite salawat, please. Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ali Muhammad wa ajjil farajam. The Holy Prophet said, Bring me my son. As in, give me my son, my son Hussein. He called Hussein my son. When he held Hussein, he embraced him. He recited the Adhan and Iqama in his ears. And at the same time, he started crying. And everyone was worried. They said, what happened? Ya Rasulullah. He said, just now the angel came and told me that what will happen to this boy? He will be slain on the plains of Karbala. He had informed me of the atrocities that my Ummah will inflict upon my son, my beloved son. To which he even said, Husaynu minni wa ana min al Husayn. Husayn is from me and I am from Husayn. Ahabba Allah man ahabba Husayna. Allah loves those who love Husayn. There are so many narrations that we can bring that the Holy Prophet said for the rank, for the status, to show the importance of Imam al Husayn. Now the Holy Prophet was weeping and his Ahlul Bayt also started weeping as well. This is even before the events of Karbala. So if the Holy Prophet is weeping, it means it is something that the Holy Prophet has authorized that it's okay. It is the Sharia. Similarly, we look, when the Holy Prophet passed away, we have a narration from the authentic books of our Sunni brothers that when the Holy Prophet passed away, the Ummul Mu'mineen Aisha came with the other wives of the Prophet and they started doing latam and they were starting reciting nawha as in they were wailing and crying and latam in arabic means the face matam that we say they were slapping their faces when they entered the room and they gathered together they were all crying and weeping for the holy prophet when he passed this is something that we have in our history and it's something that we know that the predecessors, the early Muslims, they practiced. We know even after the battle of Uhud, when Sayyid al-Shuhada Hamza alayhi salatu wasalam, was martyred, and it was such a difficult time for the Holy Prophet because we know what happened. Hinda, she ripped open his chest and tore out his liver and she started chewing on it. When the Holy Prophet returned to Medina and he saw all the other members of the family members of the shuhada who were martyred at Uhud, they were weeping for their own martyrs. He cried out, he said, is there anyone to cry for Hamza? And he ordered then a group of people, a group of women to come and start crying for say the shuhada, Hamza and the Holy Prophet cried himself and he wept. Similarly, we know when Sayyid Jafar Tayyar alayhi salatu wasalam, was martyred. The Holy Prophet was engulfed in sadness that him and his Ahlul Bayt, they cried and they did noha for their beloved who passed away and who was martyred.